Hey everyone, welcome back. If you recall from last episode, we've been making some pretty good progress on the Forge House, which is kind of actually turning into a luxury um, establishment. So, I don't know if that's an oops or a good job or what, but anyways, let's um, get some more work done. So first things first, I was going to go and cut down a bunch more trees because we're going to need as much spruce as we possibly can if we're going to build this upcoming roof. I don't really know how much is a good amount, but you know, I may as well just go for these low hanging fruits here for some wood and call it good. So. Oh. Uh, All right, there we go. And we're just gonna keep on pushing this stuff here. There we go, perfect. Okay, and convert all of that. And we definitely have enough as of now. So let's go ahead and get some more uh, slabs here. Not enough to completely fill the inventory because we're gonna do them in segments so that way our inventory space is managed nicely all right so we're gonna go and we're actually gonna go and pop one up there let's do two up there there we go and now that we have the high ground we're just gonna do that and I'm not sure if I want this to go above connect here or go under it because if it goes under then it actually has to slant oh actually that might kind of look cool if done right so we're gonna go and we're gonna pop this up one layer like this let's get rid of that one that popped up right there All right, and yeah, let's, I think we're gonna do it four and then two with the slant going down. Maybe I should have it go up. That sun is really bright. <laughs> I think I might actually have to make that stone because I don't know if I like the way that wood looks there. Maybe I do. Huh. I guess I could move it down one so that way it has to go up. How would that look exactly? If I had it just moved down by one. Like that. Hmm. It would connect cleanly, that's for sure. Yeah, let's do it that way, because I don't like the way that is. And besides, from like a proper structural standpoint, that's a really bad idea, because then rainwater is going to collect all of there and whatnot. It's just kind of a bad idea. So let's fix that um, lapse in judgment and. decrease the height of those pillars by one so our goal is by the end of the episode to have the roof and this part entirely done so that way when season three kicks off we can start with decorating the the forge and i think season three is mostly going to be centered around resource collection and exploring and getting further in the game so or maybe i'll save exploration until after 1.4 comes out just so that way um, the chunks will be fresh chunks and we'll have a chance to actually find some of the cool stuff so Ugh. and let's there we go 
go. That's much better, I think. Yes, that's much better. I might do a cobblestone outlining, though, to make it more, or something like that, like a stone brick outlining. Or just something, so that way it doesn't stick out too much. Did I do a stone brick outlining with this one? No, I did not. I think I might need a cobblestone outlining just to make it more. What am I doing? I need to find a crafting table. I'm being an idiot. There we go. That's plenty. So, now we're just going to go and begin to fill in all of these fun parts right here. There we go. Hmm. All right. Um, maybe that should have been cobblestone. No, I like the way that looks. Kind of. I'm like kind of torn on it. I'm not sure if I like it or if I hate it. I think it needs like something else to go with it. Like, like a detail, like a... Maybe I should do a cobblestone outlining. Here, let's do a quick test with uh, with smooth stone, and then we'll do cobblestone after it and see. Not smooth stone. Um, stone brick. Okay, I like the way the, the stone brings the color out, but I don't know if it should be a stone brick. I think it should be a little bit more rugged. Like, um... Let's try stone slabs and see how that looks. Yeah, no, because the uh, the hard lines that they naturally have really break the um, the aesthetic. So let's try an outline of a cobblestone and see how that looks. How many days have I been doing this? Where does it say that at? Um, there should be a spot here. That says how many days? Day 104. Cool. Okay, but now there's the problem of there being too much cobblestone in the build. So, shoot. Although if it was stone, it would actually flow with all this pretty well. Hmm. Let's see, it's actually getting pretty close to sleeping, so we're going to take this off real fast. And we're going to do a second approach to it in the morning. So. Because I really do think that needs an outline to it. There we go. It is technically nighttime, come on. There we go. I wonder what kind of roof I should do for this one. If I should do a flat top or a kind of a steeple top like this one. Maybe like a mix of both, kind of like it has a little bit of an arc, and then it goes flat near the top there. I might do that. That sounds kind of cool. We're going to give Stone Brick one more chance and see. Hmm. I don't know. Let's try it along this edge here, because we're going to be doing the entire edges of it. So we're going to go up until here and put some of the edge in and see how that looks. Hmm. There might be too much stone, just in general. 
but I do kind of like the way the outline looks, but the cutoff there looks a little odd. If I'm going to do it, uh, I don't know. I think it might need a little bit more of like a, like an angular, ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. And then maybe do, that's not good. Let's see, I need some dirt. What if I did something like that? No, I don't like that. Well, that might look kind of cool, but it does not at all. Although, what if I go and do that? Huh, that's much better. I might have to go and replace all those with stairs, but... Yeah, I'm totally digging that now, actually. What if I have it overhang out by one more and have it do... No, that won't work. Darn. All right, well, let's put this back into place here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. We'll, we'll leave that, and if I don't like it, maybe next season I'll tear it down and try a different canopy style. All right. And like that. And then one right there. Oh, and then we'll have to actually end up setting it up a little bit differently so we can properly put it down. And then like that. And like that. There we go. Oh, we got a straggler there. Can I not get him through the bottom? Do I have to like, there we go. So now the question is, do we leave it like this or do we replace? No, we're going to leave it like that with the little hook right there. Yes, I actually really like that a lot with the uh, stone outlining. All right. Um, let's see. We're going to need to figure out a lighting solution, but we'll do that later. We need um, a kind of fencing solution now. So let's do uh, maybe that there with the uh, stairs. I think it should probably be cobblestone because of the way we have the cobblestone set up around there too. So let's go ahead and put some of our junk away and get some cobblestone stairs out and do some playing with that and see what we can do. Um, and just one quick set of stairs for testing purposes. We'll do it on this side. So, and then we'll have this out. Wow, we have a spot there that we'll need to figure out what to do with. So if we end up doing this, then that leaves a block space there that we can just drop a cobblestone piece there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks there with the... Ugh. We kind of already set up a smooth stone kind of layout. So what if I did that there? And then... Hmm. Maybe then I actually do need the stone brick and then do that. Although it need to be upside down, like that. There we go, that is actually, I like that. That's not bad at all. And then it'll have to be, hmm. So it's an even setup with this one, so we might have to do a double where it's like that. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. So, then we'll just do 
like that. And this side will be a different and have our barrier here like this. Then it'll immediately end right after. like this with a hole right there and something like that. We'll probably fix it and replace it with something better later. And let's get some torches and we're gonna go and place a torch there, a torch there, a torch there, a torch there, a torch here and torch there. On this side, we're just going to put torch there and torch there. That's a little better. Maybe too many torches, but whatever. We'll fix it later. Um, I should probably change the ground out down here with something better than just smooth stone. I don't know what it would be. Maybe cobblestone going around there. How would that look? Just doing some cobble right down here. Let's do a test marker right there. Maybe. Let's just do it anyways because why not, honestly. We already have the cobblestone kind of pattern set up, so I may as well just do it. There we go. Cool. All right, so we'll build the forging equipment in here later on. So now we have the roof to do, which I'm actually not entirely sure how we're gonna do it. So this is a big building. Like this is a really big building. I just now noticed like how actually like huge this structure is. <sighs> like compared to all the other ones, it's 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 kind of tall. I like it. All right, so how should I do the roof for this one? Um, I think I'll probably end up doing. Maybe I should do the same thing I did for this one with the stone pattern up there that has little window gaps. Or maybe I'll end up doing, well, no matter what, it needs to overhang by one, but I should also probably do the, uh, um, hmm. Should I do a top layer of spruce logs? Should I have a cap out in the top there? I gotta think about this mentally here. And if I do another like the layer of, oh, it would kind of look cool. Actually, that would, that would look really cool as rafters. Yeah, we're gonna do the logs. Ah, it's moments like this when I wish I had um, inventory sorts. So I could just see like, you know, where I'm missing space in my inventory and where I can recover it. Because there's a lot of space that I'm not really using the best of its um, capacity here. I'm just kind of letting a lot of space go to waste with the way I'm doing things. So it'd be cool if there was a way to get that sorting plug in. There we go. A little bit more uh, spruce there just because why not. Uh, all right, now we need uh, some more spruce. That is exactly what we're going to do. All right, there we go. And we're 
we're gonna need a lot of trunk here. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, oh, there's not a lot of low hanging fruits that I can just walk underneath and quickly chop down. Oh, there's one right there though. Use my favorite ones. Cause you can just do that and then boom. Ugh, I wish they had more, uh, more wood in them. That'd be nice, but nope. There we go. Is that, okay, yeah, that is technically, uh, spruce. I thought that was oak for some reason. It's kind of weird. Oh, well, okay, I might need to drink more water. I think my body's telling me that I'm not drinking, like, hydrated enough right now. Yeah, I'm not, like, thirsty or anything, but, like, I just got, like, a really weird, like, dizziness kind of thing. I think I might be tired, actually. I only got, like, an hour of sleep last night. I swear it's not the caffeine. All right, um, 46 is not quite enough, but let's just see anyways. I should be pretty close. Like, I don't think there's really not a lot more that we'll need for uh, cutting purposes. And thankfully, because of our uh, foresting efforts, we have a, a constant supply of spruce. We're also going to need more buttons to uh, cap off the ends there. All right, so. We're going to actually have these ones be the ending pieces here. So these ends will be marked off like so and not be uh, pushed through like the previous ones. Uh, should I also have it pop out here? Yeah, I think I should. So we're actually going to have these ones here to make it easier for placing later on. Like this. So that way I can just do this here. Boom. And then boop. And then boop. And then some more. Cry some more. that yeah we're definitely gonna need some more because this is not enough but we did get a good amount of it though so that's kind of cool and there okay we need a little bit we need more just we just need more like a lot more so let's go get a lot more Probably another 46 or something like that. <sighs> Crap. Oh, I really wish it wouldn't do that with the, uh, the leaves there. That always makes it difficult. Just keep on. It's kind of funny to think that 20 episodes ago, I was just finishing the first layer on the house. And now we build, you know, more buildings, more structures. 
and we're doing something very similar. Trying to get another layer on a building, but not the house in this case. It's just kind of... Uh, its own little thing. So many saplings. All right, there we go. And 38. Um, let's get one more. And then we'll uh, see how well that does. 44. All right. Well, let's let the um, the spruce population recover a little bit here because we did quite the number to it. Yeah, it's definitely going to need some time to recover after that. But it's already recovering. I mean, the fact that I made that much progress on breaking down a diamond axe has got to say something for how much wood I use. Alright, and also on this one here. Alright, and... Like that. And, huh. I guess it really doesn't matter which way that flows. And we're needing more buttons, apparently. So we'll have to get some more buttons and fill those spaces up. But before that, we're going to go and we're going to place um, these spruce slabs here for a quick little test. With these guys on this one as well. We're just kind of testing to see how it looks. And that looks good. I like that. That's going to look cool when it's done. I don't know about the the lining there. That might need to be something else. I have oh, I have an idea. I have a really good idea actually. In the meantime though, let's real fast uh load up on some buttons. We're going to get some of these here. We're going to turn those into buttons in a second. And what am I doing? Wrong house. Ah, I see. All right. Hmm. I'll need to go cut down some oak, I guess. But I want to try doing uh, oak slabs around the the frame instead. No, because I haven't used oak at all in the other house. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess what I can do real fast is just try to put some buttons around. Actually, I don't know if I'll have enough time for that. We'll make it fast. We'll put some buttons around the... logs here. Make it as quick as possible. Before any mobs start popping up, I think it might be too late for that. I think those mobs are going to start coming out real, real, real fast here. And I don't even think I have enough buttons for the caps. I might have to craft some more. Yep, got 
gotta craft some more. Cool. All right. That's all of them. Let's scurry on out of here. I think I'm going to leave the, um, the stone kind of tile look along the uh, rafters up there. I think it needs that look to it. Oh, no, wait, that has to be there. I remember now. That's so that way grass will grow. And it's actually making some progress, slowly. So the, I, I totally forgot the whole reason why this is here. Is so that way grass will silly creep along here and then populate this area. Totally forgot that's why it was there. So, just want to increase its ability to spread. And, yeah. It's going to take a little while before it does that, though. Alright, and we're going to... We're going to fill everything except for that one spot there so we can continue getting roof access. There we go. Yeah, we're going to need more, um, huh. When I get old planks. All right. Should probably put another crafting table in that building there because it's a forge. So that might be within my best interest. All right, almost there. Just gotta keep adding these tiles. Not bad at all. All right. I look from the exterior, we still have to do the roof though. Ugh. Uh oh, I don't like the way that looks. With that top part, I think it just needs the roof and it'll be good to go. Maybe. Let's take a look at what I do with this one. Ah, I see. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> well, I might actually have to have the uh, episode, this uh, thing with the roof continue on until season three darn i was gonna um, i was i did say that i would go and finish it but to be 100 percent honest i am way too tired to like properly think right now so i'm gonna sleep on this here and i'm probably gonna end up taking the top part part off there and Replacing it with oh shoot, that's what I need. I need these the stone layering on the top there. That's what I need So that's what I'm missing if I put the stone up there that would look really cool. So I need to do the little stone um, Edging like what I have right there And that'll make it look a lot better and I'll probably do the same thing here with some stone edgings So we'll probably do that next episode and our grass is really starting to spread now so Yeah, there we go 
So with more uh, area for it to grow on, it should start to really go. So if it's not touching a block, we're going to get rid of it. And that should really start to make it grow pretty quickly. Eventually it's going to spread. We're going to get both of them. And it's going to be really good. All right. Well, hmm. I don't really have anything cool to show off this, uh, this episode, I guess. I already did that shot last time. And it's kind of a... I guess we can do a shot from the roof from the roof there. Well, I really, I really do like that banister look with the top planks and the top uh, wood beams. That's kind of a cool... I don't know why I keep saying banister. It's not even close to what it is. Hmm. That does not look as pretty as I thought it would. Oh, I did not fall as good as I thought it would either. I thought it would be a little bit more graceful than that. Well, I mean, I guess we could just take an inside shot for the screenshot and call it good. That may not be a bad idea. Or maybe it is a bad idea. Mm hmm. Oh, I could do a, a rendered one where I like really render out the background here. Uh, let my computer suffer for like a couple seconds. And then once we get some backdrop there, we're good to go. Come on. Just a little bit more. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's really cool. Perfect. Just a little bit more. Come on. Come on, just draw the chunks in front of me. You don't need to draw the, draw it in the radius. Come on. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. Come on. Yes, get more of them out in the background there. Just a little bit more. Cool. That'll do nicely. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh oh. Wow, the lag is real. But it's recovering. Alright, well hey, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me work on the housing area just a little bit. Um, I'll, uh, hopefully I'll get some cool stuff out for you guys in the next two weeks or so. And until then, have a fantastic day.